Today I'm rolling out handles and then pulling them to put on mugs. And here I am rolling some coils. I like them tapered. So I am doing about a dozen and I flatten them and straighten them and get them just kind of into the shape that I'm looking to go into. And I do all, all 12. And now I have a bucket of water and I am pulling the handles and making them longer and tapered. And I will um, turn it both ways so I, I have a nice even handle without you know a high side or a low side. Just keep turning it. And I like to run my thumb down the middle and get a like a channel down the middle of the piece. And I'll also put my thumbs on the edges to taper both sides. And I do this on each one, and then I will hang it to dry. Um, it's, it's a little time consuming. And you want, you know, pretty wet hand. And now I'm doing many. And there they are, they're hanging just from the cabinet or the counter. And I need them to set up. Now I'm prepping the first mug. I like to dampen the wall and figure out what size the handle needs to be. And so I just cut it to the size I want. I cut the top and the bottom. It's a general size. It's going to change as I put it on. And I like to make a nice, um, a nice curve on the top. So I do that with a cookie cutter, an oval cookie cutter. And now I'm just sizing up the handle and marking where it's going to go on the mug. And then I slip and score both sides, the handle and the body of the mug. And when you're attaching it initially, make sure you have a finger on the inside or two or three fingers on the inside so that you can give it support. And so fingers on the inside, thumbs on the outside, and just very gently, you're just kind of putting it in place so you can look at it and still move it. And notice my hand on the inside is supporting the wall of the mug. You don't want to push in without supporting the inside out. I'm just looking at it, seeing if it's straight. I think it's a little too big, so I'm going to cut it down some more and score. The slip is already there. And that's better. And just attach it gently. Now I take a dowel that I've cut down. I have various size dowels, and I'm just pressing gently, giving it a good connection, giving it a little bit of a, a bevel and a lift on the edges, and doing the same on the bottom. Making sure it's straight. Now I'm just cleaning up all the, the, the seams, getting all the um, excess slip off, smoothing everything out with my finger. You want a wet finger for doing this and giving it a little bit of a bevel. 
and same on the bottom. Lots of tweaking and touching. Now I go in with a um, pretty fine point brush, a calligraphy brush, and I just go along the whole seam, make sure everything's nice and smooth. And, um, you know, the water is going to even out between the body and the handle. And now I'm cleaning it all up because um, sometimes you leave prints, fingerprints and stuff. You don't want that. Now they've sat up for a bit. Um, because I've done all 12 and I go back at the end of the day with a rubber nib and I go around every seam and just make sure there's a good connection and a nice um, solid you know connection I, I don't want anything to come apart and I'll do this for the next couple of days I'll I'll wrap it tight and I'll go back to the seams and every seam will get tweaked and babied. That way um, my handles dry really nice and tight onto the pot. And then sometimes um, right at the top of the handle, it's a pretty narrow channel and I'll use a skewer to go in there, uh, the point of a skewer to, to clean up that that edge right in there. You'll see in a minute, one of the next ones, there it is. So a skewer gets in there sometimes when you can't get in there with the, the rubber nib. And so I do this for each mug and then it will get wrapped up and every couple of days I'll unwrap it and go back to all the seams. Mugs take a lot of care, a lot of babying. Um, also notice how they are upside down. I will dry them upside down. They will be upside down until they are bone dry. And that just keep, makes sure that everything's nice and round. They don't go, go out of round or go oval. There it is, all covered in plastic. And um, it'll stay in plastic. I'll slowly burp it and lift the plastic over the next two weeks. And there you have it a dozen mugs